challenge only becomes an obstacle when you bow to it. I love this quote, and it applies to many things in life. As an insect biologist, I often get the question, why do you study those stupid little insects when you could study cool mammals or reptiles? But what if I told you a small beetle can better cope with climate change and pollution than us humans? And by studying them, we can use their strategies to solve our problems. Let me tell you how. Imagine that you're a small beetle, and you have to fight over food in order to stay alive. Now, in front of you is a pool full of delicious dead insects. The problem? It's a thermal pool in Yellowstone National Park of about 160 degrees Fahrenheit and full of toxic heavy metals like lead and mercury. But if you're able to survive, you can enjoy an all-you-can-eat buffet. Quite the challenge, isn't it? Well, that's exactly what the wet salts tiger beetles were able to do. But how in the world are they able to survive in this water? It's a unique behavior that's never been documented before, and discovering its secrets will be my challenge. This summer, I'll be going to Yellowstone National Park to investigate this. So basically, imagine me laying on the ground, observing these beetles for hours in an area full of bears, bison, wolves, and steaming hot water. So yeah, <laughs> health insurance. One technique the beetles might use to prevent overheating is the use of a water bubble. If you take a close look at the top left picture, you might be able to see a water bubble underneath the beetle's body. It reduces heat, similar to when humans sweat to release heat. A different possibility is the use of heat shock proteins, shown in the bottom figure. On the left, you have a normal folded protein, and with extreme temperatures, it will unfold. Then heat shock proteins are released, and they will attach to this protein and help it refold again therefore restoring the cell's function. Humans also have heat shock proteins, and through unraveling the mystery for the beetles, we could reduce the risk of overheating for humans as well. Also, heavy metals are very bad for the environment, and through learning how these beetles can cope with these extreme levels, we could reduce the risk to our environment. Then lastly, climate change is causing some areas to get warmer, some colder, some drier, and others more wet. And if we look for animals with similar traits and behaviors to the wet salts tiger beetles, we could predict which animals can better cope at higher temperatures, and therefore allocating the right funding to help save the right animals. A challenge only becomes an obstacle when you bow to it. These beetles were able to overcome a huge challenge. So my question is, are we going to let climate change and pollution become an impossible obstacle to us? I say, hey challenge, Bring it on. Thank you.